Moving to 800 freestyle underway. Top seeded swimmer is in lane four, and that's Rachel Steggy's 8.32.71 lifetime best time turned in just a few weeks ago at the national championships in Indianapolis. Lead is in lane seven. Only Braun of Wisconsin Aquatics. Was not out at 24.37, but still looked like she had a slight edge at the 50. Braun turned in her best time, 8.43.53 at the Olympic team trials back in 2021 in Omaha, Nebraska. 100 meters down, Pennington in lane three takes the lead. Twenty-year-old has been right at the 8:40 low mark multiple times in her career. And dip under that mark this afternoon. One of the times to watch is that Olympic trial cut, 845-79 for the women it is the trials time. Six of the ladies in the water have been under that cut in their career. Pennington taking the lead back from Paige Madden, 206.78 for Pennington at the 200 meter mark. She's about two seconds under her personal best pace right now. Pennington in 843.19 at national championships a few weeks ago. But her best time coming from the Tier Pro Swim Series in Richmond, Virginia back in January of 2021. Big acceleration there. Paige Madden turning in a 31.8. Building herself almost a second lead over Steggy, who's in second. Steggy has been watching as Pennington and Madden have kind of swapped the lead outside of her lane. Madden. Keeping the lead, actually extending it by a f to a full second now, 0.99. If we're being precise, that's 300 meter mark, 310.85 for Madden. She's over a second under her personal best pace right now. Madden's best time from 2019. Here's the 400 meter mark here. Madden's listed best time, 837.37 from the national championships in 2019. She was out in a 417 when she made that mark. 415.11 now, two and a half seconds ahead. A PR pace is Madden Stegi, you now a second and a half back in lane four. Still a lot of swimming to go here in heat one of the women's 800 freestyle. We'll alternate back and forth, women, men, women, men, and then we have a bonus heat of men. So three heats of men, two heats of women, and then the 800 freestyle relays to cap off our afternoon.
300 meters to go, still looking very strong, is Madden. 519-18 at the 500 meter mark. Two and a half seconds ahead of Staggy. Staggy keeping a close eye on Pennington, who's in third in lane three. And the silver medal at the Olympic Games to her name. Took the Olympics 800 freestyle relay. This slam at Short Course Worlds, winning the bronze in the 200 freestyle back in 2021. And continuing to look very strong, 623. The 600 meter mark. And she's consistently been getting a little bit faster and a little bit faster. Holding 104s for a while, down to 103 now on the 100 splits. Coming up on the bell lap. Madden with 100 meters to go. Rachel Stengy now with 100 meters to go. Stengy having a great swim in her own right as well. Just about a second off of PR pace for her. And keep in mind that PR came only a few weeks ago. Right now, it's all Paige Madden. Just how fast will Paige Madden go? Setting our top time. Keep in mind, these are time finals, so anybody from any heat can find their way on to those top three spots. A strong finish from Steggy, but it won't be enough to make the pass as Paige Madden will win it with an 8.32.46. 8.34.75 for Steggy, just about two seconds off of that PR from a few weeks ago. Pennington in 8.41.10. She's only six tenths of a second. Off of the best time. The Page Man with the win, 832-46. Five seconds under her listed PR to win heat number one of the women's 800.